Africa Prudential PLC, one of Nigeria's leading share registrar service provider, marked a significant moment in its corporate existence as it hosted a farewell ceremony for its former CEO, Mr. Peter Ashade. It was also an opportunity to formally receive its new CEO, Mr. Obong Idion, at an event attended by stakeholders in the capital market ecosystem. In his special remarks, the chairman of United Bank for Africa and notable African philanthropist, Mr. Tony Olumelu, described Mr. Peter Ashade and Mr. Obong Idion as young, dynamic, and energetic leaders that were doing a remarkable job in the financial services industry. I think I'm happy I came. It's quite exciting to, to be here with you this evening to celebrate two great young Nigerians. They are not just members of the HH or, or AP or, or United Capital families. They are members of corporate Nigeria, upcoming very fast, and we should look at, keep an eye on these two, two, two men. They remind me of my own career progression. They remind me of how it was some years back. And I see in them greater energy, greater courage, greater determination, greater, in fact, intellect to take this company they run to the next level. So I'm sure we have some shareholders who are here tonight. We have investors who are watching this uh, event. If you are not a shareholder in United Capital, if you are not a shareholder in Africa Prudential, AP Registrar, better go buy your shares now. There were other glowing tributes to the former Africa Prudential PLC CEO for his meritorious service to the market. Peter has done so well. He's somebody I know, and uh, I've been on the board left the board, came back to the board. Each time you have board papers from APPLC, you need to read very well because it's just loaded. And that is the quality of the person we're celebrating today. Obong is not just uh, a lawyer. He's been a lawyer involved in the capital market for several years. But most times you may not know because he's working behind you know, the scene, you know, going through all the dots, most of the issues uh, in United Capital, most of the issues, uh, I'm talking of uh, public issues that took place in Transcorp or most of the company related to the group, there's always somebody behind looking at all the dots, everything related to capital market and making sure uh, we are fully in compliance. So Obon, you have your challenge now you know, uh, to you and I know you will surpass that also. This is a man I've known for quite a long time a man that has proven himself in this area of business, a man that is very spirited and strong and focused and committed. In all my engagements with him, I've never had the cause to doubt his ability to deliver. Regardless of the challenge or the onerous responsibility Peter Shade has always been very positive. And I wasn't surprised when this appointment came through. Peter, thank you for shepherding this organization to this great level. But I know where you are going to or you have gone to, you will do greater things there. And on this note, I would also like to congratulate one of the youngest CEOs in our market today, Mr. Obong. I think you stand up, you will recognize. It is not easy to assume this kind of role at this age, but I believe you have gone through a proper school. A school that if you go through, you can stand up anywhere in the world and prove yourself. It is not common to find it around our place here. When there is a change in guards, there's always a problem. But it is different in some of the families that we see here today. And this goes to show the great succession planning philosophy that has been built in the entire family. Peter did not get here by mistake. He had been carefully chosen, and that decision was the right one. We've been proven so over the last 12 years. He started from a departmental head, he's brought it not only to the capital market, but he's exceeded beyond that. So I just want to endorse 
everything that has been said about Peter, I want to concur and to really congratulate him for the work he has done for us and for where he's going because it is an elevation. Key stakeholders speak on the leadership era of Mr. Peter Shade at Africa Prudential PLC and the expectations for Mr. Obongidion. I have known Peter when he was a junior staff in Union Bank. Then he moved to First Bank with Bayo, who is the uh, Bayo is seen as the Adin in that profession, and thereafter to UBU. I have no regret. He has done his bit. He has mixed with people. He has uh, been endeared to people. And whatever is the position given to him, I think he's actually going to use the knowledge of working with a large number of people to also improve whatever he's meeting at uh, the new place of work. But he's a cool-headed individual who knows when to say, I am sorry, and when not to say, I am sorry. For anybody to succeed in a situation of power, you should also be able to know when you say, I am sorry. It is, sorry is a few uh, words that can create a great of comfort to people. So Peter is that kind of person. We shareholders, we are very happy with him. Since uh, we started the APR, we have been getting dividend. We have been getting returns on our dividend. The share price has been going up. Of course, we are going to miss him, but unfortunately, we are not going to really miss him because he's still going to our parent company, which is United Capital. We still meet him here. We still enjoy the dividend he's paying us at APR. We hope that uh, Mr. Uh, Obong will continue from where he stopped to introduce more innovations in the registrar's uh, business. If Peter told him, this is my word, I'm going to do it, he will do it. And the humbleness, that is key for Mark, you know. I think Peter has all attribute quality, you know. And that's why I'm here today. I defy them to be here. If other person can be, you know, Peter is by excellent. He has done a human job. And I believe what he has done, African Prudential, transforming that company, to one of the in the company to the district of the stock exchange that have been paying dividend year in year out to shareholders to also replicate in the United Capital Africa. So Peter is going to take the United where towing have stopped to the next level. I believe his ability he will also transform that place you know, and guarantee payment steady payment dividend to shareholders. That's the hallmark of the business. If shareholders are satisfied and happy with you, you know, they applaud you. They sing their praise to high heaven because you are performing. Peter is a performer, an achiever. So I give you kudos to him. You know, he has done very well into the capital market. So I believe Peter has given back to Obong. You know, Obong should exceed more where Peter stopped. You know. And I believe the sky is the limit. He will excel and he done very well. You know. it, he will do well. I have no doubt, you know, whatever, that Obong will do well. Peter Shade has been a guy, a wonderful guy. And... Uh, his transition to UC, this is one of the best things that could ever happen in the history of corporate governance in Nigeria. We love the way of this uh, ending overall of batting on leadership. I surely believe that uh, a lot of organizations will learn from these initiatives because this will give what we call a leadership development making those who are under to work harder and being prepared for higher tax. And uh, we surely believe that uh, Peter has been a very fantastic guy. And the coming of Obon, which is more or less our real friend, that's why we are here today also, to take over as a Africa Prudential, we are going to see what we call the youth, young men, innovation, and transform Nigeria and Africa, you know, uh, industry in the area of a uh, corporate governance. We surely believe that uh, both of them are going to do well, and uh, all their board of directors, shareholders, should be rest assured that uh, evolution is about to take place. We hear from Mr. Shade and also the new man saddled with the responsibility of taking the company to greater heights. Well, um, first I want to appreciate uh, the Almighty for the grace, because it could be any other person. 
Um, secondly, uh, the legacy in terms of, um, uh, we look at legacy of innovation, um, uh, legacy of excellence, legacy of execution. Uh, these three, as to a very large extent, play a very key role in transforming um, uh, the now Africa Prudential, then UBA registrars, to what it is um, as the only listed um, investors services organization in Nigeria, as you know, is um, very key and uh, very important. And I want to believe that this legacy that has been laid, people, uh, my team, uh, will build on it. And the new person that is coming in, uh, in terms of Obong, is a tested fellow. I want to believe strongly, and we are still very closely knitted. Uh, we are still working together to ensure that because we have a very big goal, big picture of ourselves, where we feel we should be. We want to consolidate on the past achievement and navigate to the next horizon. And finally, what are the tips that young leaders should learn from you in terms of business management? Because your case is a very interesting case. What, should, what are the three tips you would like to share with them? Well, the tips is, uh, one, you must believe in yourself. Two, you must have big dream. You must dream big. Uh, three, you must believe in your people. Uh, because no matter how bad strategy is, you're going to use your people to drive it. Um, again, you must uh, imbibe the culture of excellence and execution. Very, very important if you have to excel in any chosen career that you might be. It's a new dawn for Africa Potential PLC, um, new ideas. You know, I'm coming also from a different background and I've been there for a month and about 10 days and there's, there's a lot happening and there's a lot going to happen. It's a very, very uh, exciting challenge and I'm looking forward to it. But yes, definitely, the customers, um, our customers and the shareholders are rest assured that we shall continue to build upon um, and Peter's legacy and even do more because, I mean, the market is there for, for the taking. And we, we see those opportunities and we will ride on those opportunities. And one of the key... Um things that has put Africa Potential ahead has been driving innovation and technology. What are we going to see more from that angle? Because it's very key for driving a, a wide and acceptable market for the shareholders and of course service to the market. You will recall in um, 2017 we had deliberately changed our name and removed the registrar from, from the name. Not because we want to uh, lessen our hold on, on that industry or to um, lessen the domination that we play right now in the industry, but to move it to, but to diversify, because we see that we've developed competencies over the years in the registrar business. We've developed competencies in that innovation, technological innovation and driving. I want to move this into other areas again, so that we can broaden the, the, the um, financial performance and broaden the um, shareholders, you know, in investment and returns based on that. We will drive. We will continue to drive. There's a lot happening, not just in Africa Prudential or the registry space, but also in the world of innovation. And we have adopted that. We have taken that on, on board. And we will even do more in the nearest future, because that is the future. We have no choice, actually. We have no choice. After 12 years of steering the affairs of Africa Prudential PLC, with year on year profit and value creation for shareholders, the shift of leadership from the Ashade to Idiom era provides a new opportunity for the only listed Nigerian registrar company to reinvent itself and provide cutting-edge services to the African financial market.